Good morning. Does evil pay? We're looking at Jeremiah 51, verses 20 to 24 for our reading today. You are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you I will break the nation in pieces. With you I will destroy kingdoms. With you I will break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you I will break in pieces the chariot and its rider. With you also I will break in pieces man and woman. With you I will break in pieces old and young. With you I will break in pieces the young man and the maiden. With you also I will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you I will break in pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen. And with you I will break in pieces governors and rulers. And I will repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea for all the evil they have done in Zion in your sight, says the Lord. Well, everything pays. The actions people take usually have some satisfaction in them, some benefit real or imagined, at least to the action taker. Sometimes they involve financial wealth. Sometimes it's more about, you know, power over others. And in the end, either we experience satisfaction because we have helped others or we have helped ourselves. Babylon acted against the people of God for its own purposes, but they went a lot farther than God wanted them to go. He would have used Babylon for a measured chastening of his people, but they went a lot further than that, and they actually even ransacked the temple and took temple utensils out. They put unholy hands on holy things. Babylon did evil. Many times we see something happen, but we don't actually see the ultimate end of that thing. We see the evil and the apparent prospering of injustice continuing. It seems like God isn't doing anything. He's just allowing chaos and mayhem to happen. Apparently, evil is prospering and continuing. But God's destruction of Babylon has a real cause. They are being repaid for all the evil that they've done in Zion. There's a final correction, a final settling of accounts. Those who rejoice in the harm of others, they need to change. Otherwise, they'll doubtless have a similar experience. Babylon served itself at the expense of Israel, and God repays her in full for that transgression. It's utter destruction for Babylon. When we've been mistreated, we need to remember that Vengeance is God's, not ours. Where destruction needs to happen, he'll take care of that. What it would be best for us to do is pray that God will give people a little bit more time, that he'll work in their behalf, that many who are wandering in Babylonianism will still turn to Jesus, where their hope of eternity lies. Oh, God wants each one to come. No one needs to die in Babylon. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, evil pays, but we don't want those wages. Lord, help us to be doing right. Help us to be giving good for evil. Help us, Lord, to be a taste of heaven for those that might never have tasted heaven. Help us to be those who draw towards the unselfish givingness of Jesus rather than those who excel at vengeance. Oh, please, Lord, help us to have hearts like that. Hearts, hearts like Christ. Lord, this is our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, let's seek for the good of others, and let's manifest an opposite character because we know that that would please Jesus. God be with you today.